in our hospitals, more and more patients are infected. And the germs causing these infections are becoming more and more resistant to treatment. Studies show that these infections are mostly caused by the contaminated hands of doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers. We are taking the germs from one patient and passing on to other patients. Seven to 10% of all hospitalized patients and 30% of intensive care patients suffer these infections, leading to 1.7 million infections each year in the United States alone. Of these 1.7 million people, 100,000 lives are lost. And since we need to keep the other infected people for longer time undergoing treatment in our hospitals, there is an additional cost of $6.5 billion. This problem is there everywhere in the world. Hospitals are working hard trying to promote good hand hygiene practices through awareness training and reminders. World Health Organization has developed a protocol, but if you look at the historic compliance level for the last four decades worldwide, we have less than 50% compliance level, leading to devastating consequences. In other industries, the compliance of a critical protocol, for example, the flight takeoff checklist by the pilot is not made so optional and voluntary as it is with hand hygiene practices in hospitals. It's like governments trying to raise tax money only through awareness training. It just won't work. Whenever non-compliance of a critical protocol has devastating consequences, we need to have a control mechanism to identify people who are not complying and give them a warning so they develop the culture of compliance. In the absence of a control mechanism, hospitals cannot blame their employees. In addition to not having a control mechanism, there are also some systemic issues related to hand hygiene in hospitals. For example, if I want to disinfect my hands before touching my patient, I may not find the sanitizer flask near me. Or I may find it, but it may be empty. Or the amount of sanitizer gel dispensed may not be enough for a safe disinfection. In order to create a control mechanism and to resolve these systemic issues, I have designed and patented an innovative dispenser system. When a hand is placed in the dispenser unit, the middle finger is guided towards a fingerprint reader, while in the palm, the sanitizer gel is released. The dispenser unit in real time transmits the identification of that person. The system integrates different dispenser units placed in different hospital rooms. In other words, supervisors sitting in their office in real time can monitor which employee in which hospital room at what time how many times, at what intervals, practiced hand hygiene. So the system will permit the supervisors to do follow-up on, particularly on employees that have low compliance levels until the habits are formed. We will explain the functional features of our system using the mnemotechnic lavage. 
lavage is a six letter french word meaning washing the first letter is l location of the dispenser so we want to ensure that there is a dispenser located by the bedside of each patient a the second letter stands for availability we want to ensure that the gel is available in each dispenser as their levels are monitored in real time and the computer screen of the person responsible for replenishment the third letter v stands for validity we do quality controls to ensure the validity of the gel for correct disinfection the fourth letter a stands for the amount of gel since the system identifies its users it also knows the hand size and can dispense personalized quantities of sanitizer gel not too little not too much just the right amount next letter g stands for guidance we have the world health organization protocol which will be adapted in each organization and also individual employees will have targets for compliance levels and the last letter e stands for evaluation and the system allows for individual evaluation of compliance levels to do follow up and achieve their targets so the system is designed to eliminate all systemic issues and also create control mechanisms to create the culture of compliance in the organization so the system has been designed to create the missing control mechanism to be able to monitor individual compliance levels guide them help them follow up until they can create the habit it also eliminates the existing systemic issues to ensure that it becomes easier for employees to comply with the protocol this is a non-profit initiative designed to save hundreds of thousands of lives Thank you very much for your support.